Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So today I'm going to be showing you some easy tips that I use to actually create my YouTube videos. And these are things that are really obvious now, but these are things that I wish I would have done before whenever I started doing YouTube. And so if you are a beginner or you're brand new to YouTube, then I highly recommend that you consider these tips and use it on your videos because it's going to save you a lot of time and headaches if you do it this way. And so what I mean by that, where well, normally when most people create their first YouTube videos, what they do is they record everything in one shot, meaning from beginning to end, they basically turn their camera or phone around and they record themselves. And even though that seems like a much easier approach because I did that for so many videos, I would say like more than 100 videos, I did it this way. Well, the only problem is normally if you're going to be shooting one shot from beginning to end, you're normally going to make a mistake. You know, it's especially if you have a long video. And so whenever that happens, you have a couple of options. You can either go back and recreate the video again from beginning to end, which is what I did most of the time. And it was really hard to do that. Or you could bring it into the video editor and try to edit those parts out or put it together to where it makes sense. But most of the time, since you have one shot and it wasn't planned to be anything but one shot, you might not find places where you could make a cut that still makes your video good. And so that is the problem that we're having here. And so what is the actual solution? Well, in this case, and once again, this was obvious after I realized this, I would say break up your videos in parts. So as simple and obvious as that sounds, I think for most people who are starting out, they might not see that, especially if they've never done any type of video recording or editing before. And so in this case, I keep it really simple. So whenever I record my intro, I have it in its own separate video. So basically I record the intro and that's it. You know, I'll stop pressing record for that intro after I'm done. And then I also have other videos in between. And so in this case, I have it numbered. Okay. And for each one of these parts, it's just an idea to create my content. Now, for some people, they could actually do this mentally, but for others, they might need to write it down or have it scripted. However you do it, you're basically breaking up the main parts of your videos. And then at the end, I have a end video. So just similar to what I've done here, I have it recorded, it's done, and now it's its own separate video. But the thing is, all of these come together to create your entire video. And this makes things so much easier when it comes to video editing. Because when I video edit, I know exactly which one is my intro video. I know all the videos in between because they're numbered. And then I know which one is my end video. And that really saves me a ton of time because I don't have to go back and recreate the entire video from beginning to end. If I make a mistake, I just go ahead and re-record that part. And then when it comes to video editing, it also makes things a lot easier because since you plan these out as separate videos, these are natural cuts, you know, from one video to another. And it's just a lot easier when you're transitioning that way instead of trying to find cuts that might or might not work. And that is it on how you can make your YouTube video recording a lot easier whenever you're filming and also make your video editing easier as well. So this is going to save you a ton of time and headaches in the future. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my YouTube tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. And if you wanted to see my video editing tutorials, I have multiple playlists for that. And I'll also leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.